Welcome back to Snipe City Cards. Mike has had enough of my complaining. He says my negativity is way too much. Mike, you're probably right on that last video. I was not having a good day. Some people had a laugh at it, but uh, we're going to try and stay positive going forward. So before we get into this video, staying on the positivity, Piri's got this awesome metal set of Pekka Rene, but he's missing the cyan plate. If you see it or know anyone that has it, let me know. Let him know. Um, also, Gabe is looking for the yellow P.O. Joseph. They're not on Com C. They are not on EPAC. So let's help these guys find these cards. Now on to the video. Okay, so this is our first shipment from Com C. Uh, EPACs. Uh, there are 50 cards in here, I think. Most of them are substantial value. Um, we picked $3,000 of insurance, uh, US. May have overshot that a little bit. Um, and we picked Express Post shipping, and they paid for the duties already. Uh, this cost us, after everything, about $300 Canadian. Uh, so it definitely was not cheap. Uh, for cards that we technically already bought on EPAC, um, we'll do a full rundown at some point on, on what the full cost analysis is on everything thus far. But there's some big cards in here. So this is how they're packed. A bunch of top loaders in team bags. So let's get to some of these. Okay, so first up we've got Kirill Kaprizov. So there's, I guess that's how they do it here, eh? So this is a 97 retro purple, so numbered to 199. And it's numbered, what do we got here? Numbered 006 of 199. So this purple looks pretty sharp. Kirill Kaprizov, rookie, retro purple. But that's first up. All right, second up, we got Bowen Byram. Same kind of thing. Purple Spectrum, number to 199. Well, this is number 102 of 199. Okay, next up, we've got Tim Stutzla, Alon. Alon, rookie of Tim Stutzla. This card's in good shape. It's a plastic card, kind of like a clear-cut style, so there you go. Uh, so we'll have a variance of some cards that are worth a lot more. Didn't open any metal on the channel, so did want to see some of these in person. Next up, we've got Alloyance, Matthews, and Marner. And yeah, pretty shiny, pretty cool looking. These cards look definitely look better than they do on the EPAC platform. Next up, we've got Jonathan Huberto, 6 of 20. Uh, this is a Jambalaya. There you go, numbered 6 of 20 on the back. 2021 Metal Jambalaya. Okay, next up, we've got Nathan McKinnon. PMG All-Stars, number to 100. Uh, number 87 of 100, Nathan McKinnon, PMG. There's one of the first couple of ones that got us through this mess. It is a Kale McCarr. We've got Kale McCarr, Prominent Prospects, Gold, Autograph. And that is a rookie card there, Kale McCarr, Prominent Prospects, Gold, Auto. This one looks to be in pretty good shape. Next up, we've got Steven Stamkos, PMG, numbered 88 of 100. Okay, last on this first stack. This one they put in the team bag uh, for good reason. It's in its own team bag. We've got a Jack Hughes one of one base gold auto. This was probably, this is one of the first few cards we got off of this. This is why we ended up spending as much money as we did. Figured we were ahead. Got us pretty good with this. So here we go, gold auto metal Jack Hughes sophomore year. Card looks to be in okay condition on the back, one of one. There you go. All right, let's get into bag number two. Okay, bag number two. First up, we've got Clear Cut Foundations, Mitch Marner and William Nylander. I think we had the Matthews and Taveras for the year before, so we wanted to pick this one up here. So Marner and Nylander, Clear Cut Foundations. Okay, looks like we got some Parkers here. So Bronze Border, Parkers, John Tavares. Just wanted to send some other stuff. We've got a Kale McCarr. 
Looks to be in pretty good shape. Bronze rookie. We got another Kale McCarr bronze rookie. Some of these ones look to be in okay shape. Uh, third one. And then we got that to Vares because we wanted to reference it with one of these gold. Oh, so it's like a rainbow foil gold back. This is the 1,000. You need 1,000 of these Parker's cards to make this cool looking foily one. There it is compared to a standard bronze variant. So not half bad. Pretty cool. Okay, next up is Rasmus Sandin Young Guns. Uh, here's our regular Tavares, so we'll be able to actually look at all three of them at the same time. So regular Tavares, bronze Tavares, and gold back Tavares. This is single, this is 10 times, this is 1,000 times. So give you an idea on how that looks. I'll try and speed this up. We got Connor McDavid, bronze border. We've got Sidney Crosby. This looks to be just a regular retro. Pretty nice. Look a lot better in person, pretty shiny. Okay, next bag up, we change the order a little bit. Okay, we got a Mitch Marner. This is just your standard 1997 retro. Mitch Marner there. Uh, Alex Ovechkin. We've got Austin Matthews. Connor McDavid. So it looks pretty cool. These cards look pretty sharp. Uh, we got Bowen Byram. It looks like the background's slightly different. Uh, we got Kirill Kaprizov. We got Tim Stutzla. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got our first silver foil. Mitch Marner silver foil base. So Marner, silver foil base. We've got John Tavares. Uh, this is just a tribute, mainly because uh, we have the Matthews and the Marner. I think we got the Nylander on the way. We've got Alloyance, uh, Crosby and Dreisaitl. And we've got Kirill Kaprizov. This is a Spectrum. So I'm just gonna go grab a regular uh, base metal and want to see if we can see the difference. One sec. Okay, so we had only bought one pack of metal. Just one single pack in person. Here's our spectrum, so it's definitely got that rainbow foil to it. I'm gonna pull the card out here. Try and be a little careful with it. This card actually looks like it's in good shape. But there you go, it's kind of got that rainbow foil feel to it. The other one's a bit foily, but it doesn't have that shimmering kind of rainbow. So the Spectrum looks the same on EPAC. Definitely better in person. All right, next stack here. This one's got some of the big boys in here as well. So just a ton of metal. First up, we've got Tim Stutzla. This should just be a Spectrum base rookie. Although all you Sens fans, there's a pretty solid Stutzla in there, don't you worry. Uh, next up, we got Alexis Lafreniere. Spectrum there. Rookie. We've got Austin Matthews Spectrum Base. We've got Alexis Lafreniere. This should just be a retro base. We've got Alexis Lafreniere Prospects. We've got Kirill Kaprizov Prospects. We have Timothy Liljegren, Allure Rookie Auto. So there you go. This is, this should be a red rainbow auto. No numbering on this one. Uh, next we've got Gabe Velarde. Uh, this is a purple spectrum, number to 199, so PMG purple. We've got Eric Carlson, same kind of deal. This was numbered to 199 as well. 
And we've got Alexis Lafreniere Rookie Printing Plates Magenta, one of one. Although there's technically four printing plates. This was the achievement on these. This is why metal got pretty good on, uh, I mean, the price was cheaper than it was in Canada here. But one of one, Lafreniere. Magenta printing plate. Okay, last bundle. We got Kirill Kaprizov Retro Metal Rookie Printing Plate Cyan, one of one. So that one's pretty big. Uh, we also got a Mitch Marner printing plate. This is yellow. Not quite the right color, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, we got a Tim Stutzler Rookie Premium Prospects printing plate black. So that one's pretty sharp as well. Uh, we also got Joel Kiwi Ranta Precious Metal Gems PMG Rookie number 75 of 100. We've got a Kale McCarr PG PMG Rookie. 12 of 100. Um, we've got a Andre Svechnikov Metal Auto Net Deposits. We've got Andre Vasilevsky, Silver Auto there. We got Vitek Vanacek, uh, Ruby's 1997 Retro Autograph Rookie there. And the two big guys here, we got Tim Stutzla, Rookie Auto, number to 99. Um, I, the picture, I don't know if you guys saw the previous video where the picture didn't show the number very well. They gave me number 8 of 99. I'm not sure what I think about that, but uh, yeah. I wanted it to be 18. That would have been a game changer. Instead, we got 8 of 99 for Stutzla. Still a sweet card, rookie auto. Last but not least, Alexander Ovechkin, PMG, card number 8, number to 100. It is numbered 12 of 1, sorry, 82 of 100. Alexander Ovechkin, PMG, some big cards here. Apparently the retro gold PMG 1 of 1 allegedly could go for upwards of about 100,000, so... Uh, pretty sweet card. There you go, guys. A lot of big cards here. Let me know what you guys think. That's uh, our shipment from EPAC. Thanks for watching.